Hi, this is Mike at Brash Monkey again. I wanted to cover a feature that I did not in my previous video. And this feature is called Inverse Kinematics, and it's specifically for use with bones. So once you have a character rigged, let's say, for example, I wanted to animate this leg. Um, what you would typically do is rotate this leg bone or this leg bone. But another option is to hold shift down and then click and drag and you'll see that I'm controlling both the upper and lower leg at once and it limits itself um, to that extreme. If I want to go beyond that extreme, if I let go of shift, I can go beyond that and then hold shift again and now that I'm beyond that, that straight angle, now it goes the other way. And this next feature is a Spriter Pro only feature, and it's IK locking. So again, it's this is for use with bones, and in particular with inverse kinematics. And let's say, for example, what we wanted to do was make an animation of this boss character crouching. Normally, if you grab this torso bone and drag it down, everything moves with it, which means you would then have to manually rotate these leg bones and try to get the leg and foot where they belong relative, which obviously is going to be fairly difficult. But there's a simpler way with Spriter Pro. What you can do is select a bone, right click, and choose this anchor, and you'll see this red point appear at the bone. And we'll do the same thing on this side. And now, you'll see if I click and drag this bone, that the feet stay pointed at that point as best they can. So if you go to an extreme to make a jump, the legs will point, the feet will point at those points as best they can and won't pass it, as you can see. And here are a few other really useful features. Um, let's say, for example, I wanted to scale this bone. I select the bone, hold control, and I can scale it, and you'll see the fist does not scale with it. If I want, if I do want the fist to scale with it, what I would do is select the bone of the fist, right click, and choose this icon here. I still have the right mouse button held down, I just put it over this icon, which is the inherit scale icon, and I release. Now, the when I click this bone again, Hold control and scale, you'll see the fist scales with it. And this works also with uh, sprites, which are the child of a bone. So let's say, for example, I choose this uh, sprite and right click, I can do the same thing. I can turn off the uh, scale inheritance. So now, even when I scale this bone, the bone for the hand. The position of the hand will change accordingly, which is the same for rotation, but the hand is no longer scaling. Oops. And similarly, if I were to choose this fist bone, right click, this is whether or not it inhales rotation. So if I let go of that, now it will not inherit rotation. So if I go back up to this forearm bone and rotate, you'll see that the fist does not rotate. It stays at its current angle. This typically isn't that useful. It could be for walking with a foot, but it's typically not that useful for animating a um, humanoid character, but can be extremely handy for effects. So to demonstrate what I'm talking about better, I'm going to make sure I I, I make sure I don't have any bones selected. I'm going to hold Alt and click and drag to create a new bone that's not associated with or a child of any of these bones. And then I'm going to just pick this star image and give it a default pivot point in the center. And then I'm going to just drag several of these stars onto the screen relative to the bone. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And again. Okay. And now I'm going to click this bone. 
and I'm going to hold B and I'm going to select the stars and now you'll see if I rotate the stars of course rotate with it but again I can click on the star right click and turn off the rotation inheritance on each of the stars so now if I click and rotate so now I can so this is as you can see for any kind of effect or for animating mechanical things uh, this is extremely useful and then we currently have scale um, inherited for all of these stars so we can see if we scale the bone this is what happens but we can go back we can pick all of these and turn off scale inheritance as well and now when we scale we can space out the stars so you can see how flexible this can be when animating mechanical things or special effects uh, even for example if you wanted a fairly cartoony explosion where uh, the stars started very close together and then sort of expanded and rotated out just assigning them all to one bone that you could manipulate and uh, turning off their rotation and scale inheritance you can get some really cool effects and that's it for now uh, as a reminder um, the features that I just showed you are pro only features however as we know it will be extremely useful for um, animating characters to be able to um, change whether or not scale is being inherited because quite frequently you might want to quite frequently you might want to scale a limb for the sake of foreshortening but not scale the, the child limb uh, we've decided we're going to make that a uh, uh, not just a pro feature but uh, available in the uh, Spider Essentials the free edition as well uh, so in a, a future upcoming build you should be able to right click and you'll see the IK lock and rotation inherit will be grayed out but scale inherit will be there for you to toggle on and off as you need it uh, that's it thanks a lot